ಈ ಊರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೋಟಿ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಗಳಿಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ವ ಇದನ್ನು ತಗೊಳಕ್ ಮುಂಚೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಡಿಕೆ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಗಲಾಟ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪರಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಧನಂಜಯ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಕೋಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಹವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೇ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಸ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕರಿಯರ್ ವೇರ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಕೋಟಿ ಕೋಟಿ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ರೈಟ್ so if you look at my career if you look at my films which i have done uh, every film i have i have tried to uh, break the image i was dolly and then i was ratnakara i was badwa rascal now i am koti so definitely one more film to look forward to and one more new story to tell right with a one more team and i think after 11 years also it's i feel like this is my first film again <laughs> yeah when i started working with them we started with the rehearsals we started with the reading with all the actors and like after so many years again getting back to that yes. uh, theater the stage process so it was like for, it was like first film for me yeah koti and i i enjoy doing it also because i i want to play more and more characters right uh, when when i when i came to industry when i started doing different roles my friends used to say i think you should do only one type of role so that you should get registered to the audience but i used to think that i think some after some 10 films after one good film works I, they'll look back and they'll say see see the versatility and yeah. now they are seeing that and after dolly i was scared to do a good good boy role that worked with uh, ratnan prapancha uh, that worked with badwa rascal and now i am sure that will work with koti also yeah yeah so when you did i should have actually introduced you as dali dhananjay sorry i said that's the 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 name right but when you do a movie like tagaru right it's like at that point were you like okay i'm playing a villain uh, is this going to affect my career did did something like that no i had no other option at that time almost uh, i i come from no background i come from a village yeah. uh, i i'm i'm an engineering graduate i left my job at infosys yeah. i worked for one year and then i came to films i was a theater artist so i started my career in the film industry and i i worked with good good directors also who has who had given super hits before but no film worked for me and there came a situation where the industry uh, started uh, stop trusting me and they said if you cast this boy the films won't work and i was in that phase so i was working on myself i have done a film called jainagra fourth block short film which i wrote and one of my friend directed in my earlier uh, right. phase of my career and which worked well there are audience for that even today they some people when they meet me they say we love your jainagra fourth block that short film so i was thinking in that phase okay what did i do in jainagra fourth block where i i trusted myself i wrote and as a team we did something and it worked so i was in that phase where i wanted to uh, write again and i wanted to do my own film in that phase suri uh, we were working out in the same gym so he he asked me like there is a, a negative role there is a villain if you want to play in shivana's film and immediately i said yes and suri asked me you didn't like, think at all no hmm. suri asked me you 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 he asked the same question you are the hero and i'm asking you for the negative role and you are saying yes immediately i'm like i am le- left me i i am left with no option i have done everything i have tried everything i'm an actor i know from i know that from inside so i haven't got an opportunity to prove that to the audience prove that to the current audience there is nothing worse than a failed actor so i i was in a uh, very uh, frustrating phase i had so much anger everything i immediately said yes okay let me try this and with the character that anger frustration everything came out as dolly and i think it's not only about the character people they had seen my journey from the first film wherever i wherever i used to go out like to have breakfast or tea i i used to be in the roads they always wished me good hey you are a good actor so good will happen for you they they used to wish me so with tagru it happened like uh, one director who who told me like you do whatever you want to i will shoot it that suri did that in uh, tagru 
So some magic happened and I think all credit should go to Shivana and Suri and from there the career started, started again. Right, right. This is your first film and uh, you had a very interesting journey as well. But when you wrote Koti, did you have an actor in mind or after you finished it, did you approach him? When I am writing, you know, so I will just stay away from all the possibilities, you know, whom I am going to cast or how I am going to approach it, you know, because, you know, so I will tell you when I was writing this, I, I finished a one hell of a TV event, which is called Anubandha, you know, so we, uh, it is very dear to me, you know, very close to my heart, you know, so that event, you know, I finished it and I felt, okay, I stopped enjoying TV direction, the business which I am looking after that. So, at that day, I started writing and uh, I went through sleepless nights for, for 30, 40 days, you know, so it actually, uh, sleep is something, you know, I can sleep anywhere, you know, so, but, you know, so this put me in a situation where I totally went uh, sleepless and I was very restless, I was quiet and I felt, okay, something happening inside me and uh, I finished writing, you know, so Koti and at that point I imagined none and when I finished Koti, he was there for Badawa Rascal uh, business, you know, so we were, and I liked, you know, Dhananjay uh, at first go, you know, so when he met me in my office, you know, so I, I felt, okay, so this guy is so simple, so, so, such a good soul, you know, so, and I went back and anyway, you know, so I had to think of an actor now because, you know, I finished writing. The first thing which came to my mind uh, was, you know, Zodali and, uh, and, you know, I called him, you know, so can you come and take a narration? In my apartment, you know, so one evening, you know, we uh, got together and I want to narrate a story with all the details. So I narrated this story three hours, ten minutes, you know, so which uh, I made him sit through that, you know, so it looked like he enjoyed it. And, you know, so that's how uh, Dali came on board for this particular project. Nice. It's like a... How was that narration, the three or ten minute no, narration? For me, taking the story narration is a very uh, difficult thing. I'll sleep off. <laughs> if, they, if they narrate for two hours, three hours, like uh, after 20 minutes, I'll be in sleeping mode. I always ask for scripts. You send me, I'll read it and then if I find it interesting, then I'll take the narration. But with Param, I was, I was confident also, but at the same time, I was scared. I, I, if the story is not good, how can I say no? Uh, because he stood with me for Badawar Rascal. Once again, from villain to again, it's a shifting phase to be a hero where I wanted to do my business. I wanted to prove my business. I produced my own film called Badawar Rascal. So at that time, the, the, I, I wanted someone to buy my film. I wanted someone to trust me. So he came, he, he watched the film, he, tr he, he trusted me, he bought the film. So he was there. He was there with the, in that uh, uh, phase and uh, I, I, I made it through Badawar Rascal. We made it big. It was a blockbuster. I became a successful producer also with a successful hero. So, and Param really helped me with that. So, I was scared. What if the story is not good? How can I say no? But the very, uh, like, when, when he started, the, before starting the narr narration, he's, he first told me that, leave aside everything. If you don't like the story, say it on my face. Don't worry. <laughs> then he started the narration. So he made it easy and after listening to the story, I, I could connect. I could connect to so many phases of my life. I was, I went after, uh, like I said, yes, let's do it. And then after going back, I was seeing on roads, there were so many people like Koti yeah. and my driver was Koti. Uh, I was like, no, 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 I, 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 I think I should represent them. And even there were so many scenes where I could connect. Can, can you give my, an example? We all take loans. And we, we all will, like, we, we will definitely, everyone have worked with their bosses where they, they want to give it back, but they, they can't. <laughs> so, every, every, like, most of the working class, yeah. most of the working yeah. class, like, yeah. it's, it's their uh, everyday life where they'll be, they'll get loans and they'll be uh, struggling to pay interests, uh, but they want to pay, they want to do something. And the and the very first point only I uh, I I loved it that Koti wants to make one crore. Me and my friend we used to sit on the bench 
in my high school days and college days and we used to think like we should earn 1 crore <laughs> 1 crore we should earn that so, exact thing yeah 1 crore we should earn we should build a house so 1 crore what if someone gives us 1 crore what we will do with that so koti's dream was that so i i could totally connect to it and my friend he always used to tell i'll go to dubai i'll earn 1 crore and i'll come back <laughs> and he did that he went to dubai and <laughs> <laughs> he came back with 1 crore and he built his house so i was like it's it's uh, everyone's story huh. it's everyone's story so i wanted to do it right you know param one of the most interesting things about this film is that it has a gangster supari this that without spoiling too much there's a lot of potential areas where it could have gotten really into like one let's say ram gopal or mar territory or something like that but it doesn't go there you know so when you wrote it uh, you know sometimes the story takes you by itself sometimes you also shape it a certain way did you have a vision in mind that i want this to be a family friendly movie was that something that you had in mind no i don't think like that you know okay. so actually i i am aware you know so this could have taken those uh, directions i will tell you you know so for example i always wanted to have a uh, pain point for koti for example you know i wanted to um wanted to tell the viewer why koti is a perfectionist or why koti wants to be 24 karat gold why he doesn't want to get corrupted you know so i struggled with that you know actually i finished the entire thing but this was pending you know so he cannot be this without a reason you know so and this was playing in my mind and uh, uh, i run you know so and one day i started running thinking about it Uh, this is how i write you know i want to explain this to you that will i don't think of the business i don't think of the genre i don't think of anything else you know so i just go by my instinct i started running thinking of why koti is like this why koti uh, uh, i agree you know i brought in i can uh, ice candy you know so for the color but you know so i felt okay this is there for no reason and you know so and i don't know how to solve why koti is a perfectionist or 24 karat gold so now i just wanted to tell that story and you know so i started running that day and i was very restless because this is i am unable to crack this without cracking this my script is not complete this started coming you know so the whole uh, whole sequence which we finally see in the film you know so that started playing in my mind you know end of the day i usually run 7 to 8 kilometers a day you know that day i ran you know 17.4 kilometers wow. because you know i completed that uh, three scenes on my mind and and you know went back and i didn't even go for shower i wrote that and i just did not change anything out of that uh, if you see this uh, particular thing which is only the only one draft you know so for other scenes you know so i have done several drafts this is only one draft this is how i write you know so for me uh, what Uh, the writing takes me somewhere i just go there uh, it is it is also because of the kind of uh, life you know i had the experiences i gone through i just you know so followed that i did not follow okay whether it should be a gangster film or it should be a family film and you know so after writing the script i decided the genre and you know so when i wrote, uh, read john truby later his book on genres you know so i got really really petrified because you know i did not think about it and wrote this but you know so i made sure okay if i am true to that particular genre drama thriller so this is uh, maybe you know it is totally irrelevant but i am explaining you how i approach you know so my content no actually it's a very good point because i think see the thing is you have a story to tell yeah let's say you're talking about a thriller you know he's there he murders somebody he wants to get away from the police then you right away into genre that's different right but this is like something that starts out like a simple man's simple not maybe a simple man's not so simple wish yeah. that that i want to become rich enough to be able to afford certain things yeah. that that my family wants now this can be anything it can be thriller it can be whatever way you to because it's about a character right so i think what you're saying is is very true in a way because it's not like you said okay i'm going to make a like you know like like murder mystery out of this you can't do that so you have to follow that character and and it's like i thank you for sharing that in, that thing about because sometimes when an idea possesses you you run 17 kilometers yeah, because yeah. you can't you because yeah. you're stuck with that idea yeah. and uh, you know you have to complete that 
that i never uh, want to stop you know so i i felt that adrenal rush was there you know so i remember you know uh, right after this you know so calling you know so my team and telling them you know so this is done you know so now we can actually proceed with the script nice did you ask him where the idea for koti came from <laughs> did he tell you no i i didn't ask him but uh, somewhere i felt uh, param is koti <laughs> that's why uh, i could have written such character so i could i could uh, see so many traits of koti in him okay where i i love his honesty uh, towards everything so is very transparent everything about koti there, there were so many uh, traits which were common so i didn't ask about the idea but my my the my favorite favorite thing was favorite scene is like koti's uh, childhood koti's past when it comes to a character for for koti to think like that for koti to behave like that the scene what what he has written yeah that that impressed me a lot right right how did you come up like with the germ of the idea no so this is see i wanted a character which is which i should be knowing that character to write that character that is my fundamental belief in even in short story writing novels or whatever, whatever i wrote i wrote what i felt nothing else so this being my first film and you know i want to tell this story so passionately i wanted wanted a character which i know ha huh. no best that's the fundamental ask uh, for for me uh, to start writing this particular story then you know i realized i need a character trait you know so which is see every character should uh, have a flaw in you know, which which you know which will transform you know in the end you know so that flaw is healed or it is aggravated or whatever that change is what the film is all about or story is all about that's my belief and you know i wanted that and i started thinking about uh, characters but you know i don't know them and i thought okay i know myself you know so mostly is what i felt try to find a flaw and i realized as a television uh a business said you know so my i i had handled the business for 10 years and i actually led yeah, 100 plus you know so team and you know so many shows you know so indirectly 1000 plus you know so i i was handling with uh, i was dealing with so many and you know i was obsessed with this perfection thing and you know everything has to be perfect and when i started thinking about it and you know i never observed it but you know so people told me you know so you can you can't be this perfectionist and i always thought you know being perfectionist is a bad which is uh, i very proudly you know so took that compliment you know when somebody said you know you are a perfectionist when i started uh, thinking about that particular aspect and you know so dig deep into it i realized that perfectionist then could be a big problem mm-hmm. you know for a leader if you are a perfectionist his ability to take risks will go down he will make life around him miserable and you know so i was looking at myself and you know i was astonished and petrified the kind of information i got just because of this one uh, one information i wanted to do koti a perfectionist and problems of perfectionism took me to such levels you know so after writing the script i am a changed person because you know so i addressed myself in this particular process you know so of writing it you know hence this film may be a hit may be a flop it people may like it people may not like it whatever may be the result result is achieved you know as far as personal journey is concerned you know i have i am a changed person after writing this script that is the most beautiful thing can happen to someone like me uh, at this particular phase of my life hence i took that Uh, element and put it on koti and tried playing with that and it was a beautiful experience enriching experience and scenes came just like that i could have done you know so 340 minute film but you know so uh, people uh, people around me told me you know so no this is a lengthy film you know so please try to cut it you know i tried 20 times to cut it to 150 minutes but i couldn't you know i thought yeah. okay so this is required and i told you know so dhananjay also you know so after the first schedule we will end at 170 minutes but you know we ended at 169 minutes 29 seconds yeah so the way you speak about this it's almost like 
this writing process was like almost like a bit of therapy for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it amazing. Should be, it should be for uh, any writer because, you know, so writing cannot, uh, and writing, there is a writer called P. Lankesh in, in Kannada, you know, one of the very acclaimed writers. Yeah. So, he wrote one line, Bariyodu yashtu kashta and bariyile bekadaga idu yashtu santoshida anubhava anta. Which, you know, so roughly, I will do the rough translation. You know, writing is painful, but you know, when you have to write, painful process will become such a, uh, such a joy, Physical you know, so uh, that's what my fundamental belief, you know, so as far as writing is concerned and I have not kept any film as a reference yeah. or any story as a reference because I always wanted to do a content driven commercial film. Right. That was one thing I told myself, content driven commercial film. And when I was a journalist, I asked one of the acclaimed directors and Param, forget about it. You will never be able to do it. Uh, I asked him, why don't you do a a critically acclaimed film which also can reach out to one crore people or you know so it can run 25 days 50 days in theaters and he said no that is not possible and you know I had a you know so somebody tells me that is not possible rebel inside me kid inside me refused to believe it no that is possible you know so that's how I went about it maybe that is the result you know so you are you are seeing now yeah yeah, yeah. so Dhananjay, when, when you do films like uh, The Role in Pushpa, right? Uh, now, this is much after your, uh, this is not your struggling days. This is after you've, you've come. What is the logic behind that? Yeah, I mean, at one level, yeah, it's, it's a big project. It's interesting, all that kind of stuff. What, what goes through your mind? Do you feel that a small role that might, you know, like, like, like what your friend said earlier, that you have to project yourself a certain way, does that play in your mind now? Because I can understand before you establish yourself, but how do you see it after you have? Yeah, now I have, I find it difficult to uh, accept some roles. But when it comes to Pushpa, uh, I always wanted to work with Sukumar. I was always a Sukumar fan. So I, and it's a learning process for me with, with good directors and with good actors. And like even with Allu Arjun, I have, uh, I have seen them. I have followed them. I have seen their films like all, all are stars of Karnataka or any, any star from any other language. So when it, I, I see it as a learning process, I see it as, as an opportunity. For example, I did one film with RGV under RGV's production. More, more than the film, I was excited to spend some time with RGV. Because RGV's films, uh, we, we were all fans for his yeah, films. So, yeah, yeah. so, so I, I, I just said yes and I, 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 I just wanted to spend some time there. So like that, with, with Sukumar, I wanted to work. And when I get called from Sukumar, I, I, I couldn't say no. And uh, for Tamil film also recently, Karthik Subra is called for uh, Surya Sir's film. But I couldn't manage dates. I wanted to do it. I wanted to work with uh, uh, Surya Aru and uh, with Karthik Subra, but I, I couldn't do it. Right. But I would love to work with uh, bigger stars and I would love to work with good directors where as an actor, I want to uh, learn more. I want to work with different masters. Yeah. I, I want to be vulnerable, so that 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 makes me a better better actor. Where I'll I'll keep learning and unlearning and yeah so. yeah like you mentioned Surya and yeah. uh, they accepted him as a bad guy in Rolex, right? That five minute role that he did in uh, in Vikram that was such a spectacular success, and it's nobody saying oh how can Surya play such? No, it's like they're just enjoying the difference. That I think its audiences have become a little more broad minded yes, and, and in terms of. Uh, and I, I, as an actor, I love when they call me with the name of the characters. When I go to uh, Andhra, Telangana, they say, hey, Jal Reddy, Jal Reddy, Jal Reddy. It's okay, Dolly, Jal Reddy, Koti. I, you have to like, uh, now you decide Sina. what name to put before your name. It's like, yeah. now you're called Dali Dhananjaya, but now it's like, Koti Dhananjaya, it should be like... Jay. I have my own universe of characters. I can play them again anytime. Anytime with any good script if someone writes. Right. I have a small character called Mitai Suri. It's it's not much explored, but people loved it. I, uh, in Darshan Sir's film, I did it. So like that, I have so many characters. As an actor, I enjoy that. Right. I enjoy that. Right. Provided th that it should not affect my business as lead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I, I have so much dreams that... So I, I want money. <laughs> I, I want that uh, success as lead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, cinema is a mass medium. Television is even more of a mass medium because you're programming for 
audiences and because so many of your programs have become hits, would you say you have a good understanding of the mindset of the audience? A TV viewing audience, yes. But how much of them will come to theatre, we need to check. Okay. So, also, uh, TV will allow you to course correct. You know, so, I have, I have launched a show which opened at, you know, so, less than 1% viewership and which went on to become 7-8% uh, in 4-5 weeks. Or, you know, so, I have launched a show which started with 5% and then started declining, you know, so, as we progress. Right. So, it will allow us to course correct. Uh, that's the advantage of TV. However, uh, I, this is something, you know, I have a confession to make, you know, so when I thought, okay, I'm going to do a film, you know, I use it to write, so 70 scenes, 80 scenes in a day, you know, if it require, you know, the, that's the requirement of the team, you know, so most of the fiction shows which we launched during my tenure as a business head, you know, I wrote myself and those five episodes, I use it to finish in one day. And I thought, okay, cinema will have 120 scenes, maybe, you know, so one month uh, or one and a half months, you know, so uh, this was my calculation for the film. But, you know, so what I realized, you know, so when I started writing film and I realized that this is a very complex engineering, you know, because uh, the 150 minutes or 170 minutes become such a barrier and you need to establish certain things to make you know your viewer connect to that particular character right. otherwise you know so whatever you are bringing in is not going to work yeah. so this is a very very difficult uh, difficult medium i felt you know so this is the most complex medium it has so many elements and you know so tv may have that but in tv it is more to do with quantity some level of quality but here you know it is all about quality and every damn thing has to be original in tv you know so you have a kind of license, you know, so unwritten license, you know, so you are having, you know, so you can pick yeah. one or two things from other things, you know, so here you need to create that. This process has been life altering for me and uh, I, I'm really, really humbled, you know, so after completing this film and every, every department and, you know, so in TV, I used to go, okay, watch, you know, so thing, the graphic guy is there, sound guy is there, sound is very minimum in TV, you know, so which is almost recorded along with the, uh, along with uh, the shoot, you know, so mine is also a sync sound film. Still, I had to, when I approached a film like that, I hit with a roadblock everywhere and I realized, okay, this works very, very differently. And uh, when I am watching the uh, film in Raja sir's uh, studio, visuals are disturbing mm -hmm. because, you know, so visuals are he won't, you know, he will say, Param, don't look at visuals, you know, so listen to the sound. You know, when I go to DI, he will switch off the uh, sound, you know, he will see only visuals, you know, so now I have not seen my film, you know, in that sense, you know, so with visual, with sound and everything, you know, so together, even once, mm. you know, so in, in, in a theatre. So this is a new, new thing for me uh, coming from TV and in TV, you can correct it, you know, so several times, you know, much faster in cinema. It's a very, very painful process, but it was very, very enriching and uh, I enjoyed every bit of it. Also, you know, I can, I don't know, uh, um, the humility and me, I sometimes, you know, so uh, those are the two things, you know, so which sometimes uh, won't go well with my name, you know, but I can say, you know, I'm at least few percentage points, you know, less arrogant after you know so completing this film because you know so this is such a massive and such a beautiful experience tv in that sense helped me to do uh, planning logistics i handled uh, several shows events are the most difficult one to shoot because you know so so many egos are involved especially award events that gave me some level of clarity on execution because you know multi camera and uh, so many cameras and you need, you need to be aware you know so you need to be present you know all the time logistics tv helped but cinema is a different game yeah. especially when you need to conceptualize and create that magic you know so and you know it is very humbling lovely that's that was he should just take a course on <laughs> filmmaking right oh, this is sir you <laughs> no but so i have a question about his show it's called Big Boss. Everybody knows about that show, right? He brought it to Canada uh, uh, 
television what do you think about the show <laughs> <laughs> because i ask because there's one section of the society that says this is so bad for society because it's it's this kind of voyeuristic you know it is is wrong and this and that but there's another part that loves it and debates about this contestant and that contestant and you know who's this and who should win and who sh- what, what what is your take on that so in one phase i used to think like that where you you told no the like big boss why you know it should <laughs> how uh, like is to 2 2 hours or 3 hours irutha daily 1 uh, and 1/2 hour one now hours, earlier uh, it was 1 hour yeah 1 so. 1 <laughs> and 1/2 hours i i i i was surprised like every everybody in our house everyone will be so yeah. much into tv and but then i realized it's a, it's a reality show it's okay and people are interested to watch uh, personal lives uh, yeah that's personal lives and uh, it's like a task and we are also in a big boss house but literally but yeah <laughs> but yeah. as an actor Life you are also, a, yeah. yeah you are it's a big boss you know because you're always under yeah you you know like whether it's professional life personal life it's like you're in a glass box you know it's yes, like yes, yes. Uh, or what do they call it goldfish bowl uh, you know like you're always uh, and exposed. later so 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 many talents came out from big boss and they they made they made their career also uh, in a very big way so it was a stage for talents also like chandan shetty vaibo he's, he's been very nice to you so you know i will i <laughs> no, no no i can i i told no initially i was against it big boss no <laughs> <laughs> then to be to be honest i have never watched the like full episodes and all the i watched some episodes our family they they they'll watch every every episode of big boss and for me later it it's okay it, it's working and it's yeah yeah i actually you know so big boss as a concept i absolutely hated it when i started it when i decided to go for it it was a business decision you know so more than a uh, more than anything else mm-hmm. when i saw that setup in mumbai pune uh, lonawala and i was amazed you know so the technicalities of that uh, i i was blown away by the kind of technicalities which involved to create uh, that kind of a show once you know so we started it i realized that this could be a very good character study yeah you know so it's a study of human behavior 2017 i think i, I they, they asked me for big boss jd uh, yeah, jd so met me and that, asked me the for the culprit is here <laughs> <laughs> so, so he wanted to work with you long back <laughs> you know so now i was like no i can't even sit inside for one, one day if you lock me up here i'll go mad 100 days in big bus no <laughs> but see that was your problem is it because i would have thought the problem would be like everybody is watching me you know that that yeah that's, that's also okay a problem or, I, or <laughs> is that oh, because no, i i don't no. know because uh, i i don't want my audience to know everything about me yeah. my daily life <laughs> so as an actor if they know everything about me it will be difficult for me to uh, make them, them believe yeah. uh, again with a different character yeah yeah how did the decision to become a producer happen survival <laughs> no that was a different phase after doing tagru i was uh, getting uh, offers for doing supporting characters and uh, negative roles uh, in all star star films uh, even in tamil i have done uh, two films i have done one one is uh, released and uh, another oh. one is releasing next week malai pidikada manidan Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I accepted that film while I was shooting for uh, Pogru in I think in before before lockdown. So I was getting all such roles and wherever I used to go people in Karnataka they used to love me so much. They were loving me so much. I'm like no I I should convert this into tickets and for every producer and director I was telling someone has to trust me and they should do a good film so that that yeah. that craze will convert into tickets but no one trusted so i had to trust myself one of my friend he, he wrote and he gave me a bound script i decided okay let me do this and i produced my own film i i took I, as villain whatever i earned and some loan i took from my friends and i produced badavar rascal and i just wanted to produce one film but again it's a, a process Uh, for the business what badavar rascal has done 
I think again, one more step, I had to claim where producers should trust me to invest more on me. Mm. So I, I had to extend my market myself. So I produced Head Bush. And then I wanted to stop it. But for this phase where we are in, in our industry, I, I wanted more directors to come in. I wanted more talents to come in. So I started producing it for new directors. Mm. All my uh, all films which I have produced, I have uh, produced three films and two films I have presented and released. And now two films are in uh, uh, production, they are they're in the shooting process. All are new directors, new directors with uh, good actors. I, I don't believe in complaining that uh, what's happening, what's not happening, what's the reason. I, I just want to contribute. I know it's a risky process. Uh, I don't have other source of income. I had to earn from the industry. But again, whatever the earnings I get, I should invest in some other business. So better I invest in the business I know, that yeah. is film industry, and which works mutually. Yeah. It, it works for the industry also. And if it works, it works for me also as a business. Uh, so trying, works, yeah. trying that, trying that. That's brilliant because, you know, at least you're taking it in control. You know, so did you ask him to be to produce Koti? No, no. <laughs> so I was. He is was, the producer of Koti. <laughs> no, I'm just, like, like you know, he tried to pass the buck. No, so, no, no. See, and uh, I, I wanted to do this all by myself, from writing to release. So everything, you know. So because you know, so this is a fascinating medium. I wanted to understand every step of this. I wrote after writing that, you know. So I wanted to be in that sense, you know. So one or the other way, I had to be a decision maker in production of the film as well. And now, uh, the publicity of the film and the release of the film. Every step I wanted to learn, sir. So, hence, I, you know, I was very clear, this is going to be like this. Nice. Because, end of the day, uh, why I gave up television job was to challenge myself and just let go of that whatever success which which started pulling me down i wanted to feel that lightness of a beginner and you know as a beginner you will go through a difficult phase for yeah. sure because you know no learning will be easy you know so learning will put you through humiliation and pain if you are not going through a humiliation or pain you are not learning so that's the fundamental belief, you know, I have. Life is like that. And film, uh, I wanted to learn everything because, you know, this is such a, such a wonderful, wonderful medium, you know. So, and what possibilities? Creating this uh, story, you know, so on big screen, uh, that itself will make me happy and contented. I keep telling that to, uh, you know, the other day, you know, so for jokingly, you know, so I said, you know, so I can die now, you know, so no problem, you know, I have experienced it. You know, I was craving for this experience so much. And that experience is what mattered to me. Though, you know, so there is a pressure of performance. Yeah. Uh, there is some level of uh, mm, track record, you know, I have as a storyteller, which was, you know, so successful uh, 10 years in television, you know, so which I could uh, take over, you know, so ETV and then, you know, rebrand it, you know, rebranding uh, a very successful brand to another and that happened so seamlessly because, you know, so I was equally petrified then, mm. you know, so how do I change this ETV Kannada, which was so close to Kannadiga's heart to Colors Kannada yeah. and we made it a uh, uh, we we wrote a brilliant campaign for that. We as a team went there and shot it ourselves, edited it ourselves, put it up. It was it was a very enriching experience then, you know, so TV. Same thing I wanted to do for film. You know, so even then, you know, I had zero experience in, not much of an experience in TV to do that. But, you know, somebody trusted me and uh, I never wanted them to fail and went all out here again. Jyoti Deshpande actually trusted me, you know, when I said, you know, I need to do a film, you know, so she was my boss in TV as well. And she said, um, you know, why do you want to you do both? You know, so I felt, you know, so both is impossible because, you know, TV is very tiring, very, consuming, very taxing, yeah, yeah. very taxing. And you need a different mindset for TV, different mindset for film. So I took this uh, thing to her and she trusted me. Now, result, why I am worried? Only for one thing. It is for Jyoti. 
for me you know so whatever she invested it should come back otherwise i am already a winner you know so in that the experience why you know i am i am i am the winner you know because this is amazing amazing experience when i wrote i changed as a person when i went for shoot got you know so that there is there was a very high uh, influence of production you know so on my behavior and how i uh, started treating people or to uh, there are th- it, it was very very beautiful that you know so changed something you know when i went for edit it changed something and when i sat for sound it changed something now i am about to release the film and people around me telling you know so coach you know so whenever whoever ask me you know so what do you do i get petrified oh you don't know you know i we are releasing a film in a week you don't know so each one actually pushed me to the wall and you know so asked me to think and behave or demanded you know so some level some degree of involvement and um uh, um conviction uh, in my reaction which is so beautiful you don't get it you know so all the time you yeah. know so so that's the reason i am fallen in love with this process you know i i mean this very very sincerely but you should be a motivational speaker because <laughs> the love that you have for your job and the love with which you approach your whatever you do and how you express it i think it's very inspiring because you know there is no such thing as as an easy learning and and when somebody who goes through the very very difficult process of making a film right it's uh you know with 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 this thing that i should do something that i've always wanted to do and does it as well as you do i think it's it's great and you know i think you should you should consider that as a possibly a future option but finally dhananjay i want to ask you you know as somebody inside the industry uh and who has been observing the industry for a while the kannada film industry where do you think things are right now because every industry is facing its own challenges and problems but also facing successes and all that so what is what is happening in the kannada industry same we are also going through a very uh, challenging phase where uh, no films are uh, bought or no no films are getting sold no one is interested to buy of films and then even in theaters mostly because of elections or ipl even i don't know last 6 months it was very bad uh, this is a very challenging phase and i think this too shall pass we are working we are working now more star films are uh, like release dates are announced so now we are excited uh, so i think this will also pass and uh, the hope is that uh, every uh, like every week at least one or two films i'll i'll get to watch from newcomers they'll send with the, they'll send the vimeo links and they 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 want me to present present the film if i love it and i can't present every film but i i'm i'm seeing a good future i'm seeing a good good future with their approach of uh, film making with their content what they're coming up with so and we need more talents yeah and as an industry we all have to work for it and we are uh, working towards it there are uh, production houses uh which are coming up and now geo studios has come to canada with koti so i hope uh, they'll do, do more films in canada i think we'll we'll get back we'll get back we'll yes. get back to that's, a that's good a face good again open all the best for koti thank you so much for coming here and talking to us uh it's it's really been a pleasure listening to you and to you because the thing is you know uh whether it's the way you decide that this is my career i'm going to leave that follow a new thing or a new let's say a passion right or whether it's the way you say that you know i decided to take things in my own hands turn producer or i did this role because i wanted to work with this person i think the takeaway is that you have to be ready to accept change you know as it's it's, it's a little cliche and simplistic but that's something that a lot of people have trouble doing because you know it's easy to say you must change or keep changing or adapt you know it's like even yesterday i was talking to a friend about you know that bruce lee quote be like water uh, you know take the shape of whatever life gives you right because you have to flow can't be like very rigid about about things but uh, it's very easy to say but it's difficult to do no yeah. i think any creative person should be vulnerable like we can't close our doors and windows and sit inside in the in our comfort zone in our safe zone where we define ourselves 
as like i am this and i am safe no we, we i what what i believe is yeah. you should keep the doors and windows open and you should be vulnerable it's okay it's okay to lose it's okay to get hurt it's okay to take everything but you you will be you, it's a, it, everything is an experience yeah good thing we did this for koti all the best all the best thank you thank you, thank thank you. you so much thank you yeah.